Hey guys, Ty Garner here. Actually sitting outside today. Uh, the weather here has just been amazing the past couple days. Uh, a, a nice change since it's uh, been so hot this summer. Hot and dry, but I actually got the, some temperatures down into the high, high 50s, so it's been really nice and just enjoying this weather out here. And, um, you know, uh, it's amazing how God confirms things. You know, I kind of just started doing some videos uh, here lately, posting them on Facebook, YouTube, stuff like that. And you, know, you get some criticism from people. You know, it's funny. It's usually criticism from people that are the closest to you. Um, uh, you know, friends, family. And it, it, you know, it's strange, but it, it's really just Satan. That's the that's the ones that Satan uses to, to get to you. But um, God confirmed confirmed what I've been doing. He's something he laid on my heart that he wanted me to share. And so that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. But he confirmed me yesterday in a, in a sermon. And it was just an amazing sermon. Also, I want to share that about. Um, but basically, the title of the sermon was, What is God Saying to You? And um, I'm like, all right, well, yeah, I, know, I know what God's been saying to me. But uh, more than that, what it was about was, you know, what is God saying to us in general? And, you know, it was talking about God's love. And that if we have God's love in us, we should share his love. Um, God's love is a gift. We should share that gift. And, it, and it, he gave an, uh, an example of, you know, when we give our kids a gift, that's we love seeing them play with it and everything. But when we see our child share that gift with other kids, it brings us more joy than just them playing with that gift itself, right? And so that's, that's the same thing with God. God gives us his love, and he, he, he loves to see us experiencing that love. But even more than that, he wants us to, to share his love with other people. And, you know, something that, uh, you know, that really hit me was it says, how many people are being drawn to Christ because of me? And, man, that hit me like a ton of bricks. You know, we have this social media stuff out there, and we can waste a lot of time on it, as we all do. I do. Um, but it's also an amazing tool to spread the gospel. You know, can you imagine if everybody was out there spreading the gospel on social media? And, and I know it's, it's for social and fun, and I, I, I like to keep up with people and see what people are up to and see what people are doing. So it's definitely good for that. But imagine if more people were out there sharing God's love. You know, we almost, I feel like, I have felt like in the past, like, oh, people don't want to see these verses I post every day. But, man, if it just impacts one life, a day, a week, a month, a year, you know, I mean, I've done what God's called me to do. And I don't, I don't shoot these videos or share posts to try to get somebody to, um, to think, oh, look at Ty. You know, I'm not trying to say look at Ty. I'm saying look at God. Look at Jesus. Look what he's doing in my life. Man, I'm a work in progress, but... I want to. I want to feel like you know what he's doing in my life. Maybe somebody else is dealing with, and if I'm dealing with it, then I can help somebody else deal with it. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna ask you, what is God saying to you, and how many people are being touched for God by your life? Um, you know, something else he said was that you know we're, we're a billboard. We're God's voice. If you're a believer, if you are a follower of Christ. You're his billboard. You're his workmanship. Your job on earth here is to go out there and share his word. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Don't get let other people hold you back. Don't let fear hold you back. Get out there and make it happen. Have a great day.